Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Code Warriors. Today we are going to start this amazing topic, a mind blowing topic you can call it computer vision. I'm your instructor, Kosu Tripathi, and I'll be with you throughout this course and helping you in gaining in learning this concept and making you expert in it. Okay, so if we talk about computer vision, I mean if you can see it, there are two words, computer and vision. Now, most of you have got the idea of what we are going to talk about. Now, if you talk about the humans, we have also got a vision, eyes with, uh, when they are attached, bulk with a brain, then it creates a vision kind of concept. You know, whatever you see it, you understand the brain, you process it inside of the brain. Now, we are going to apply same kind of a thing in computer. Whatever the computer will see, whatever you will show it, it will create a, a image of it, it will process it inside of its brain that we will create a brain inside of it, it will process it inside of that brain and it will learn it so that whenever next thing will show it something like that, it will tell you what that is. Now if you have a, this, this is not a, some new concept, this is a very old concept like coming from 1800s uh, sometime and if you have seen a uh, lots of movies like Terminator, Robocop, or, in the, all those movies, or even latest one, the uh, Fast and the Furious, uh, they've got spatial recognition technologies because they were changing other faces, finding faces. All those, all of these concepts in the uh, no, Terminator, if you see, they were like, uh, you know, Terminator was like uh, checking out everything. Uh, he can like, he can find out that this is a car, this is for. Okay, this is a person, this is a target, this is not a target, this is to be attacked, this is not to be attacked. So all of this thing, it's like, he knows all those faces, he was processing it every time he sees a face, if that face is matches with his actual face, yes, that's a target, otherwise no. So all of these concepts are achieved by this great technology, this great concept, computer vision. Now, this concept is written in basically in C++. Uh, uh, by the help of uh, this, uh, they have created this kind of a module, open source computer vision, in short we call it open CV, which we are going to use a lot to work, if, basically we are going to work completely on open CV to like pre-process whatever we are going to teach our computer, to pre-process those things, filter out those things, we are going to use open CV a lot, we will see further in the videos. And in this course we are going to cover, we are going, I'm, going, I'm going to tell you a lot of things, so I don't know, like to of creating your own facial recognition software uh, like this we will create a face detection and recognition you know kind of a software through which if you put a face of someone if your computer will judge here yeah, this is this person this is that person you need to detect a face here yeah, there is a face like if you have seen you know mobiles uh, mobile camera whenever you are going to take a photo of someone you get you get a, this kind of a square thing on a face okay how it is happening? This is like there. It is how your camera is detecting the uh, face of that person and the, of all those persons that are in that picture. Like this, if this is a picture of a uh, four people, and this you can see the uh, camera is detecting the face of that person. And actually, this is uh, not taken. This is not of a camera. I mean, it's of it's a facial recognition soft uh, output of a facial recognition software. You can see here they, they've written the kind of a percentage thing over here. It says the accuracy by which it uh, can say this is this person. So it is giving right now 99% accuracy that this is whatever the name we have given this to a person. Okay, same thing here. I will show you all of this how we can. This is what we are going to work as a project and celebrate learning how to create our own facial recognition softwares. Then we are going to talk about this object detection and recognition. Now, in this, if you see, there are lots of things over here, like this is a bowl, and it is telling you that this is a bowl. Here, you see a coffee mug, and it's telling you it's a coffee. Here, it's a cap over here, and again, this thing is telling it's a cap, and again, there's a bowl, and for other things, it's saying it's a background, background. Now, same thing if you take a picture of your home, a picture of your room, basically, and you put it in your model, it will tell you that this is bulb, this is fan, this is Almira, this is window, this is a person and if you make it much more better, it's going to tell you who that person is. So we are going to learn with the help of computer vision, we are going to learn how to achieve all those things. Actually, um, we are going to also include uh, you know, deep learning and machine learning concepts a little bit inside of it to make all of this possible to teach our computer. 
to predict it. Then we are going to talk about, uh, if you see here, this again, this is one of our object detection uh, image there. It can detect that this is a dog and then there's a bicycle behind of it and there's a car behind of it. It's detecting. So this is how it works. Okay, so basically when you have this kind of a model with you and you just take a photo of something and you put it inside of it, it can say, yes, this is this, this is this, and this is that. Okay, it can predict everything. Then we are going to work on this handwritten digit recognition. Now, uh, this is like if you type out a digit, if you type some number on your phone, and it's going to take it as an input. Like if you type 1 on your phone with the help of your finger, or if you have a pen with your phone, and you type 1 over there, it will take 1 as an input. If you type 2, it will take 2 as an input. Now, this kind of a software, we are going to create of our own. Now, they have mobile companies, mobile phone companies, or you know, any software apps, they have this kind of software, but we are going to create our own. Now, if you work more in that, then you're going to, uh, then we can create a, uh, alphabets with the help of all those alphabets, capital and small. Then, uh, you know, when, uh, in the form of writing, we can teach our computer in the form of how we write in the writing method. Then, what we can do is basically finally is. Uh, we're gonna write our one paper, and if we're gonna pass that paper to our computer, if we're gonna uh, uh, upload the photo of that paper into the computer, then the computer is gonna take all of the data that is written inside of the paper as an input, and it will create a Word document of it. That automatically, you don't have to type all of that into a computer, but all you have to do is take a photo, send it to a computer, and it will uh, it will guess what all those letters are, what all those words are over there, and will input it exactly on your computer. So this is what we can achieve with this concept, with this technology. Now, to learn all of this, there are only two prerequisites. One, you need to have a basic Python knowledge and not compulsory basically. But yeah, if you want to explore deep inside of it, then definitely you need to have a basic Python knowledge. Otherwise, whatever I'm telling you, I will tell you those concepts also of Python at the same time. So you can get on with me over there. But yeah, if you want to work more, work, get on to it deep then you definitely need a python knowledge because we are going to work on python right now and the second thing that you're going to need is that's for sure that you need dedication because without it you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna achieve something you might learn it today you will forget it tomorrow you will not there will be no profit on this skills if you don't have a dedication if you keep on working on it if you keep on exploring yourself you keep on finding what else you can do with it and keep on doing it now, uh, uh, we have talked about what this computer vision is, what are the requirements, prerequisites. Now, uh, to set up this on your computer, uh, you need a, first thing you need is a Python in your computer. Now, to download Python, you need an Anaconda installer. And I have made a separate video on it of how to set up Python and Anaconda installer into your computer, that's that complete Anaconda package. So, go, go to that video and watch it. And understand how you can uh, put Python to your computer. I've told all about Python to put in Windows and Mac or in Linux. For all three concepts, I've told it very in detail. You can process it. And I'm not gonna tell you to over here. And I'm gonna tell you, show you uh, how to, what to do to uh, work on computer vision too. You need a separate model module inside of Python, which is the name of a CV or uh, Open CV, Open Source Computer Vision. You need this module inside of a Python you know your library to work uh, with computer vision concept so for this i'm going to tell you, i'm going to show you how to put that concept but if you don't have a python install uh, python package python uh, uh, that uh, installer in with you then first check out my uh, my python installation setup video and get a idea of, uh, install from there with the help of it into your computer python and then uh, watch further what i'm going to do how i'm going to set up it Okay, so to set up uh, with the help of a Python, uh, with the help of Anaconda installer, you need uh, to download that uh, OpenCV module. And to download this OpenCV module, you have to, let me show you.